Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, gentlemen, we thank you all for being here with us today. As you've heard from all of us, the American people, Tennesseans, are wanting some answers. They deserve to hear your testimony. And I think it is unacceptable that this is the first time that I'm hearing from you in any forum, despite attempts at outreach by both me and my staff, save a few short all-Senator phone calls that we have had. And I want to emphasize, all of us here, every one of us, answer to the American people. And they deserve transparency and information regarding this administration's botched and disgraceful withdrawal. Tennesseans are really angry. And as you know, General Milley, Tennessee is home to the 101st Airborne, one of the most deployed divisions in the U.S. military. We're also home to the Specialized 160th SOAR, who were among the last on the ground extracting U.S. citizens from danger in Kabul. Tennessee National Guard units have deployed to Afghanistan at a high operational tempo, as well as providing vital logistical services such as refueling. We are home to more than 400,000 veterans, many of whom have lasting physical and psychological wounds from the time they have spent in service. And Tennesseans are heartbroken over the loss of one of our own Staff Sergeant, Ryan Knauss, a patriotic American who represented the best of all of us. In the August 26 suicide bombing at Hamid Karzai International Airport, he made the ultimate sacrifice. So, how did we get here, and how did we get to what has been a complete letdown to most Tennesseans? And I've got a few questions. These are yes or no questions, so quick answers are appreciated. Um, General Milley, were there options given for keeping American troops in Afghanistan rather than the unconditional chaotic withdrawal? Yes. You presented options, and those options were declined. There were options presented and debated? Yes or no. And a decision was made? Yes or, yes or no is fine. Did you at any point create options for keeping Bagram open beyond July 2nd? Yes. Did you provide options for keeping Bagram open directly to the president? Yes. Had Bagram stayed open, would our support to the Afghan Air Force have been more effective in your view? I'm sorry, I didn't catch the last part. If Bagram had stayed open, would our support to the Afghan Air Force have been more effective in your view? Yes or no? Uh, frankly, I'm not sure on that one because most of the Afghan Air Force was at different bases, specifically at HKIA. President Biden keeps calling it an extraordinary, uh, extraordinary success. We've discussed some of this today. Is leaving Americans behind an extraordinary success in your view? Secretary Austin? We're not leaving uh, Americans yes behind. Yes or no is fine. Is the killing of 13 American servicemen and women while trying to secure a chaotic evacuation of the president's own making an extraordinary success? Uh, the loss of any civilian life is, it, is always tragic. Is the fact I, that we failed to evacuate most of our Afghan partners an extraordinary success, or the fact that we have Afghans bringing uh, child brides, people who are hardly vetted, is that an extraordinary success? Again, these are issues that we continue to work uh, to get our American citizens out and the Afghans who have helped us Let me out. move on. Per Article 2 of the Constitution, the President may require the opinion in writing of the principal officer in each of the executive departments. Did the President ever require or request written recommendations related to the withdrawal of the Afghan forces? Yes or no? Secretary Austin, then General Milley, then General McKenzie. Yes or no? We provided, uh, I provided our, our input as a part of a, okay. a, a, a policy process that, uh, that was okay. uh, very well and, okay. and deliberately run. We will note that you didn't completely answer that. General Milley, any written form? Yes. Would you make those available to us? Make it available to the committee upon request in accordance with appropriate classifications. We will, we will do so. General McKenzie? Yes, yes. or no? 
and you will make those available. Based on guidance from the Secretary. Each of you had committed to make those available when you went through your confirmation processes. We'll come back to you for those. General Milley, um, yes or no to this. Did you talk to Bob Woodard or Robert Costa for their book, Peril? Woodward, yes. Costa, no. Did you talk to Carol Leonic and Philip Rucker for their book, Alone, Can I Fix It? Yes. Did you talk to Michael Bender for his book, book is frankly, we did win this election, the inside story of how Trump lost. Yes. Yes. And were you accurately represented in these books? I haven't read any of the books, so I don't know. I've, I've seen press know. reporting of it. I, okay. I haven't read the books. Uh, so. Let's have you read the books and then let us know if you are accurately presented Absolutely. and portrayed. Happy to do that. In, Senator in Blackburn, we're, right, we're adhering to the five-minute rule. Thank you. Uh, Senator Rosen, please. 